Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. The favorite at, at all. And, at and, all. And remember, you and I talked about it. I said, Ocho, yeah. remember mm -hmm. when Complex named me? Most, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, most entertaining sports uh, personality? Yes, sir. That you Boy, are. we'll die here. We'll die here from there. Listen, and they'll never be able to take that away from you because it's only no. up from here. It's, it's only up from here. So oh, yeah. if, they, if, they, if, they, if, they, if they mad now, tell them to get a nice seat. Yeah. Tell them to get a oh, nice seat. they mad a now because they ain't seen nothing yet. So mm -mm. sold out cognac. Two podcasts that's in the top five. Mm -hmm. Nobody else can say customarily, but one of them always is in the top five. Right. ESPN first take. Do you think if your haters outnumbered your supporters, that could be possible? No. I like that. It's and you know, our, we talked about this, Ocho. Everybody was talking about, well, how much money I made during the Cat Williams interview. Whatever you think, I just got the check. So whatever you think I made, three exit. <laughs> Let me see. So if you think I made 500,000, three exit. Let me if see. you think I made a million, three exit. Let me see. If that. you think I made two million, three exit. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> I got me a little something today with Ocho. Look at that Ocho. Oh, I got, little, I got a little John Mayer. Hey, hold on, hold on. What's that? That's the John Mayer. Mm. I'm done with it. I'm done with it, Ocho. I will get this paper. I will get this paper. So whatever y'all think I'm in. So I know this gonna go viral, man. Three exit. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Put it like this here. I made I made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. Ooh, wow. Well, you better talk, man. Boy. Check it, man. Hey, hey man. Do, me, do me a favor. Listen, man. Say, man. Boy, I tell you. Uh, man, this is a good one right here. I've been, you know, I, I, I said, man, should I talk about this? Because it's been a thing that, you know, this YouTube world, this whole internet world is something else, man. Shannon Sharp. Uh, he comes out and he starts to talk about the fact of, uh, you know, how much he made. He made more on this Cat Williams interview than he did over on uh, basically when he was playing NFL in one season or whatnot. But, you know, listen, man, God bless Shannon Sharp. I'm, I'm happy for his success, man. I'm a big fan of the show. Um, man, make sure you go and check out that uh, that that clip of him and uh, – Oh, Joe, I'm going to have to put that link in the description. But, boy, listen, man, I'm being real with you, boy. I like seeing this brother get this money, man. This money is real good. They're giving it away out here, y'all. Let's just be real. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys need to check Shannon Sharp out because he 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 got the formula down packed. I can't be mad at him. Cat Williams came through. It was a hell of a job he did. And then you think about it, man. Then you start to see Vlad pop up. Vlad is pretty much just giving you his – his take on how he feels about, you know, how much Shannon made. Well, why is Vlad even concerned about this? Because Vlad been making money forever. DJ Vlad made money off these people forever, man. Why are you worried about what this man making, man? At the end of the day, man, we all get money. I like Vlad too. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't like DJ Vlad. I like the hustle. A lot of people say he's exploiting our people. I get it. We exploiting our people, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, I like I like to see his hustle. So don't be mad at me if I say I like the nigga hustle, the, the, the white boy hustling, man. But at the end of the day, we all hustling. But when I, I, I shoot, man, I get take my hat off the channel. And if he get money right now, I mean, why would not be happy for him? Because at the end of the day, if he don't get it, somebody going to get it. But nobody's seen nothing like what Shannon Sharp just did. There has never been another interview like Cat Williams' interview ever on on this day, YouTube, Instagram, all them clips, everything that he done, there ain't been nothing like this. To pass up Joe Rogan's top of the line interview, he got 60 million views, 62 million last time I checked on that interview. Nobody else on the YouTube interview has that. Go look it up. I'll wait. But I just, I'm very proud of the fact that Shannon jumped on here. Ocho, man, he boy showing watches, man. Man, let me send your boy something. You see my wrist, bear. I ain't got my watch on right now, but boy, I, I ain't even got it in here with me. But I sure know how it feel when you get your new watch, man. I felt it when he put that old thing up like that. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Um, Vlad, listen, man. Let him live. Let him live. Michael Blackston video I ain't gonna get you those kind of numbers. I like Michael Blackston. He's dope. 
I like, and you know, I interviewed Ari Spears. You was talking to him about it, you know. Ari Spears, dope. These guys are dope. Don't get it twisted. But what Shannon Sharp and Cat Williams did, um, I don't think he even knew that was going to happen. He he predicted it. Shannon Sharp did at the first of the interview, but I don't think he knew it was going to happen. So at the end of the day, you can't, you can only project what you would like to make or what you think could happen. But we just don't really know, you know, when that next interview comes. But I sure hope it hit on Boss Talk 101. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be working to see. If you ever go fishing, if you ever go fishing and you, you, you chunk that old, 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 old line out there, and when you check chunk that line out there, you know, you want to go, what a fish biting, man. I got to get me some more comedians in there. The fish biting over there in that comedian pool. Them boys over there, they talk, they talk. They always been talented, though. But, man, I'm just saying, DJ Vlad, man, is this a beef or what is this? Are, are you, is it a hate? What I don't know what to call it, man. Are you just interested in what he make? Are you pocket watching him for that fact because it's such a high interview? I'm looking at the views and I'm looking at who's number one far as the views go. I was never looking at how much he made. But you and I know our brother's is, man. That boy finna pull a Bentley out of something next and show it to you. Black folks will show you. They, they gonna they gonna show it to you. That that we real flamboyant. We, we gonna show it. You remember when they they dug up those uh uh when they went and got those tombstones, all them Egyptians in, they had on big gold necklaces and stuff. Them bro, them black folks, man, they gonna pop it. That's what we call it over here, DJ Vlad. They pops it. They gonna pop it. Even them, them dudes you interviewing, man, they pops it. I'm telling you, that's what black people do. We love it, man. We love the showboat. If we got it, we'll show it to you. But man, DJ Vlad, man, did you hating on my boy or what, man? Come on now, stop it. Um, I got to get Maisha on the phone, man. Maisha gonna, I know she gonna, she gonna love this one, man. What up, Maisha? Hating, but I do think he is pocket watching though. <laughs> I definitely think he pocket watching, but I don't think he hating though. You don't I think, think he hating on it? I don't think it's hating. I think you know, like he said, y'all don't jump on me. But like he said, um, if somebody do throw some numbers out there, we do kind of go look it up because they did Kanye like that too. So it's a lot of people that we go look up. He just speaking on it. We do check into those numbers. He just speaking on it. And I guess because it's black, we will have a problem with it because he is a white man. <laughs> and everybody always call him the culture vulture. So I don't know. But I don't think, I don't think he's hating. I, I, but he is probably watching though. Because he adding up numbers. I don't think it's this and I don't think it's that. And he keep bringing it up. He pocket watching. But he, I don't think he's hating though. What what do you think that and I gotta ask you this because you you know you me and you we do boss talk one on one together and a lot of times you know people have this or that to say about what what our videos we put out do you think that Shannon Sharp merits to give him a call for anything though hell no <laughs> <laughs> he said you can give him a call he not the, he supposed to be the YouTube president. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he did say he been on here the longest, like he's soldier boy or something. <laughs> he did it first. I did this first. <laughs> I just really think that it, 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 you got to be careful when you start running around here. You know, uh, it make you look like, like you know, like 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 something happened to your brand when you start running around here mm -hmm. trying to figure out ways to, you know, interject in something somebody else did that pretty much approves them. It, you have to be careful because. There are so many times, you know what I mean, when he, I get it. Again, he he paved the way for a lot of stuff, the clips and stuff. He was the first one really doing that, you know. Um, a lot of stuff I looked at Vlad and I say, man, you know, I see why he do that. Once you get in the game, you're like, I see why he do that, you know. You're always right. looking at ways to leverage your channel. But when I look at DJ Vlad and I look at Shannon Sharp, you know, Shannon Sharp is a freak of nature. You know, he come out with this Cat Williams interview and they was they made the statement they could get over there and talk about a lot of people and get those kind of views. He he his views would go up, but I just don't know if it would be on the level of a Cat Williams. You know what I mean? Because Cat Williams articulated the hell out of that interview. We can't leave out that Shannon Sharp on his interviews. He be having his his liquor. Like he be having his liquor. Like he be having his liquor. Like he be having his liquor. 
and they be drinking it. So that liquor gonna turn them all the way up. They drinking while they interview. Man, you know he took a page. He, hey, he took a page out the old boss talk one on one catalog. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Always take care of your guests. Always give them what they're looking for. You know, they vice or yeah. whatever when it comes down to that 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 cognac or that tequila or whatever. You know, you always it really just or if you could, you want to, you could take a a, a a cranberry like me. I don't drink or smoke. I'm interviewing straight minded. A, a, a cranberry, a, 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 you know, anything that I'm. I got up there, Coke, a Sprite. You don't have, whatever. You might have anything in the cup over there at Boss Talk 101. But over there at uh, my boy, he got that cognac, man. That dang Seattle show got that cognac, and he trying to knock him out the box, Rick. Right? You know what and I'm he saying? he's making money off that as well. That's a part of it as well. I think a lot of times people don't realize, man, he's making money off of that. He's making money off Facebook. He probably got to deal with, um, you know, his downloads on his audio. Um, there are so many different avenues that money could be coming in to to club shay shay but the thing is he mentioned the fact that he just got to check and we know those youtube checks they just popped off here recently so he he's referring to that youtube check he jabbing at you i think he jabbing a little bit at Vlad. like you gonna count it let me give you something to think about here little buddy but you know? no like you said we black we like the stunt. <laughs> We is really, we going to show it to you, baby. We, man, I never forget, man. I got that little old Mustang back in the day. Let me just say this. And I never forget when I got that Mustang. Boy, I I was so happy when I got that Mustang. I peeping out the one day at it because I went and got me some McLean's. You have to look that up. The rims with the spokes inside. It kind of looked like on Menace to Society. I really probably was mimicking Menace to Society with Kane with that green Mustang, and I had, man, I had the whole thing working. I was young, boy, and I looked at that thing out the window, man. I thought somebody was going to steal it, because back in the day, they'll steal them cars. It had the rim set and popped out a little bit on it. It had them dang little old bitty uh, McLean's on it, man, and that whole dropped down, and boy, I was so happy and excited about that car, man, and I used to pop it, man. I come in, I had me two two fifteen or no, two twelves in the back, and I had them, I had them punch 45s on it, and boom, Boom, I come through the neighborhood. You know why? Because I'm trying to let these niggas know, boy, I got it right. You know what I'm saying? I had a baby lack with the 4100 engine in it back in 89. I had an 87 baby lack in 89. Don't let me get to going. But boy, I sure will show it to them. In every neighborhood, you could hear me coming from at least three quarters of a mile up the street. I, ever since I was young, I would always put that beat in the trunk. So when I come through, and then I wouldn't even put no tin in it on the windows because I want you to see that glass house. That's what Shannon Sharp is showing him, that glass house here. <laughs> he want him to see him when he coming through. And, and that's how we do it. So Shannon popped the watch on him today. Don't be surprised if he pop it on him again because that's what we do. We love to pop it. Yeah. <laughs> But at the end of the day, man, shout out to both them boys. They getting money. So, I mean, we, at the end of the day, they getting money. So, ain't no trip. And Vlad getting money from just bringing up Shannon Shore. Because he's like, he, he, he in the algorithm. So many interviews. So, hey, you here know, we go, making money. Together. And Vlad knows that's in the algorithm. I know that's in the yes. algorithm. All these other YouTubers and bloggers, they know that's in the algorithm. So, shout out to everybody that's getting out here, getting into it. We need this. Keep on talking about what's going yeah, on. Let's get this money. Let's, let's get, get this together. money. You know what I'm saying? But Black, boy, white, Asian, Puerto Rican, it don't matter. It don't let's matter. Get the money. Everybody can get it, man. And I want to see everybody win, man. So shout out to Vlad TV. Uh, shout out to Shannon Shaw. If, if y'all get in the comments, let me know. Is shout Vlad, out to Boss Talk. Yeah, shout out to Boss Talk 101, man. Let's go. Like, get in these comments, man, and let's try to figure out. You know, let me know, is Vlad hating on Shannon Shaw? That's the question. Is he hating or is he or should he be congratulating? But let me know. In the, in, in the, do he think he's the, the like the godfather of YouTube? Should people have to go to him? Boy YouTube. Is he the soldier boy of YouTube? That's, I, I, that's right, reality TV. What is, the, what is he doing? But hey, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys get that membership. Yeah, get that membership. You, you, let's make sure we just stay focused on what the goal and the prize is. We're trying to get us uh, 60 million, 62 million uh, interview. With, so, so let's get to it, y'all. Let's pump it up, man. Let, let let me get in there. Boy, you don't want to hear me. Ooh, you don't want to hear me go at Shannon <laughs> Sharp or Vlad about my numbers. You don't want to hear me get flagrant about what I just done. Because I'm going to, man, I'm going to sell a ship. Right into the highway and just stop and get out. 
right off the go. And I'm just, <laughs> oh, I'm going to get me a helicopter and land it in the parking lot of my, my store. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do something, but then let me get my 62 million. You know what I'm you saying? Be just cry. What? You already know what time you see me. I, I'm popping it. It ain't even made the damn views yet. <laughs> Check it, man. Thank you guys for watching me. I love all y'all, man. It's all in love. It's all in love. So at the end of the day, man, make sure you guys keep watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Reality TV, thank you for calling in this morning. It's early, y'all, so we be getting to it, man. Love the love, love the Florida energy. It's been a, hey, how I say it's been another great segment of Ball Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see me.